Welcome to this service. At entrance you should tell, Heavenly Father God, let your mercy be upon us. Give the dead peace and rest. Give the churches unity and give the world peace. Amen, Amen, Amen. We trust God to help us. I pray that the Lord will answer you when you are in trouble and you call to him for help. I pray that Israel's great God will keep you safe. He will send help to you from his holy place, from his temple in Zion. He will remember the gifts that you have offered to him. He will accept your burnt offering. I pray that God will give to you all the things that you really want. He will help you to do everything that you want to do. Then we will be happy and we will shout aloud when you win against your enemies. We will wave our flags to praise our God. Yes, I pray that the Lord will do for you everything that you ask him to do. Now I know that the Lord will save the king that he has chosen. God will help him from his holy temple in heaven. God will use his great power to make his king safe. Amen. Let us pray the prayer of preparation. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secret are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our heart by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer of Penitence God so loved the world that he gave his only son Jesus Christ to save us from our sins, to be our advocate in heaven, and to bring us to eternal life. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with all. Confession Father eternal, giver of light and grace, we have seen in what we have taught, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and married your images in us. We are sorry and ashamed and re repent of all our sins for the sake of your son jesus christ who died for us forgive us all that is past and lead us uh, out from darkness to walk in children of light amen gloria gloria in excelsis deu gloria gloria in excelsis deu glory to god in the highest and peace to his people on earth Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Gloria, gloria in excelsis Deu. Gloria, gloria in excelsis Deu. Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Gloria, Gloria. In excelsis Deu, Gloria, Gloria, in excelsis Deu, Amen. Some people hope that their chariots will keep them safe. Other people think that their horses will save them. But we will trust in the name of the Lord our God. Those people will fall down and they will not get up again. 
but we will get up and stand again and we will be strong lord cause the king to win against his enemies please answer us when we ask you for help we thank god for his help lord the king is happy because you help him with your great strength you have helped him to win against his enemies so he is very happy you have given to him all the things that he really wanted you have not refused to give to him what he asked for the bible matthew 12 part 9 to 20 jesus god's chosen servant Jesus went from there to their synagogues. In the synagogue, there was a man with a crippled hand. Some Jews there were looking for a reason to accuse Jesus of doing wrong. So they asked him, is it right to heal on the Sabbath day? Jesus answered, if any of you has a sheep and it falls into a ditch on the Sabbath day, you will take the sheep and help it out of the ditch. Surely a man is more important than a sheep, so it is right to do good on the Sabbath day. Then Jesus said to the man with the crippled hand, Hold out your hand. The man held out his hand, and it became well again, the same as the other hand. But the Pharisees left and made plans to kill Jesus. Jesus knew what the Pharisees were planning, so he left that place, and many people followed him. He healed all who were sick, but he warned them not to tell others who he was. This was to give full men meaning to what Isaiah the prophet said when he spoke for God. Here is my servant, the one I have chosen. Here is the one I love, and I am very pleased with him. I will fill him with my spirit, and he will bring justice to the nations. He will not argue or shout. No one will hear his voice in the streets. He will not break up of even a bent stem of grass. He will not put out even the weakest flame. He will not give up until he has made justice victorious. All people will hope in him. This is the word of Jesus. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Epistle, Romans 6, part 12 to 23, since power is broken. But don't let sin control your life here on earth. You must not be ruled by the things your sinful self makes you want to do. Don't offer the parts of your body to serve sin. Don't use your bodies to do evil, but offer yourself to God as people who had, have died and now live. Offer the parts of your body to God to God to be used for doing good. Sin will not be your master because you are not under law. You now live under God's grace. So what should we do? Should we sin because we are under grace and not under law? Certainly not. Surely you know that you become the slave of whatever you give yourself to. Anything or anyone you follow will be your master. 
you can follow sin or you can obey God. Following sin brings a spiritual death, but obeying God makes you right with Him. In the past, you were slaves in sin. Sin controlled you. But thank God you fully obeyed what you were taught. You were made free from sin and now you are slaves to what is right. I use this example for everyday life because you need help to understanding spiritual truths. In the past, you offered the parts of your body to be slaves to your immoral and sinful thoughts. The result was that you lived only for sin. In the same way, you must now off offer yourself to be slaves to what, what is right. Then you will live only for God. In the past, you were slaves to sin and you did not even think about doing right. You did evil things and now you are sh ashamed of what you did. Did those things help you? No. They only brought death. But now you are free from sin. You have become slaves of God. And the result is that you live only for God. This will bring you eternal life. When people sin, they earn what, what uh, sin pays. Death. But God gives his people a free gift, eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. This is the word of Jesus. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Gospel, John 10, the good shepherd has his sheep. Jesus said, it is certainly true that when a man enters the sheep pen, he should use the gate. If he climbs in some other way, he is a robber. He is trying to steal the sheep. But the man who takes care of the sheep enters through the gate. He is the shepherd. The man who guards the gate opens the gate for the shepherd. And the sheep listen to the voice of the shepherd. He calls his own sheep using their names and he leads them out. He brings all of his sheep out. Then he goes ahead of them and leads them. The sheep follow him because they know his voice. But sheep will never follow someone they don't know. They will run away from him because they don't know his voice. Jesus told the people this story, but they did not understand what it meant. So Jesus said again, I assure you, I am the gate for the sheep. All those who come, came before me were thieves and robbers. The sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. They will be able to come in and out, go out. They will find everything they need. A thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But I came to give life, life that is full and good. I am the good shepherd, and the good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. The worker who is paid to keep the sheep is different from shepherd. The paid worker does not own the sheep, so when he 
sees a wolf coming, he runs away and leaves the sheep alone. Then the wolf attacks the sheep and scatters them. The man runs away because he is only a paid worker. He does not really care about the sheep. I am the shepherd who cares for the sheep. I know my sheep just as the father knows me. And my sheep know me ju just as I know the father. I give my life for the, these sheep. I have other sheep too. They are not in this flock here. I must lead them also. They will listen to my voice. In the future, they will be one flock and one shepherd. The Father loves me because I give my life. I give my life so that I can get it back again. No one ta takes my life away from me. I give my own life freely. I have the right to give my life and I have the right to get it back again. It is what the Father told me. Again, the Jews were divided over what Jesus was saying. Many of them said, a demon has come into him and made him crazy. Why listen to him? But others said, these aren't the words of someone controlled by a de demon. A demon cannot heal the eyes of a blind man. Glory be to you, O Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. You come to him and you blessed him with many good things. You put a crown on his head. It was made from the best gold. He asked you to keep him his life safe and you gave to him a long life. His descendants will continue forever. People, pr people praise him because you have helped him to win against his enemies. You have caused him to rule as a great king. You will continue to bless him forever because you are very near to him. He is very happy. The king trusts in the Lord because of the most high God's faithful love. The king will never fail. You will use your strong power to take hold of your enemies. Preaching. Be honest to God. He knows exactly what you feel. If you don't know what to do, if there are so many things that bother you, then you can pause. You can stop. You can go to your secret place and pray to God. Tell Him what you truly feel, truly feel inside. Tell Him everything. Be transparent. Be true to God. If you are mad, then tell him that you are mad. If you are sad, then tell him the reason why. Because God is so much ready to accept you. Yes, he already know everything that you feel inside. But you need to surrender it. You need to let it go and allow God to heal your heart. Our God is not a strict father. He loves us so much and he wants to con uh, connect to us. He wants to have a wonderful relationship with us. People may not know what you truly feel inside. They may not know what it feels like. But Jesus knows everything that you feel. He already went through pain. 
He went through brokenness. He went through shame. And on the cross, he learned to surrender everything. He even gave his life just to let us feel that we are not alone. And he is very much willing to give up everything just to save us from our sins. So right now, surrender everything. And when you pray in his name, you need to have faith. You need to believe in him. For only the love of God can make you whole again. You deserve love. You deserve peace. And all is because of his grace. Amen. The Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made a man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. This, uh, he, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. You will catch everybody that hates you. When you come out to fight against them, you will destroy them like a hot fire. It is the Lord who destroys them because he is angry with them. You will remove your enemy's children from the earth. They will no longer have any descendant. They decided to hurt you. They thought how they would do that, but they could not do anything bad against you. No. You shoot your arrows at him so that they turn back and they run away. Get up, Lord, and show your strength. You will sing to praise you. We will sing to praise you because you have great power. Hallelujah. Amen. Prayers of Intercessions We pray for the whole world to solve their conflicts and live in peace and grace. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for all poor countries. Give them rain and let them use it usefully to make food. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. We pray for sick people Please heal them and let them know your miracles and let them adore you. Thanks, Lord, hearing and answering our prayers. Amen. The peace. We are the body of Christ. In the one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes us for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always be with you. 
Amen. Preparation of taking the bread and wine. You must have a piece of bread and a glass of non-alcoholic wine or water. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be with God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. Your Lord is the greatness, the power, the glory, the splendor, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you, and of your own do we give you. The Lord is here, His Spirit is with us, lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord, let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it is right to give thanks and praise, Amen. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. For He is your living Word. Through Him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. Through him you have freed us from the slavery of sin, giving him to be born of a woman and to die upon the cross. You raised him from the dead and exalted him to your right hand of high. Through him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving spirit and made us a, a people for your own possessions. Therefore, we angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and singing, Holy Holy, Holy, Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our salvation, Jesus Christ, and as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. Who is in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, 
drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember this offering of him, himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of our kingdom and with this bread and this cup of uh, cup we make the memorial of Christ your son our Lord. Amen. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Amen. Accept through him our great high Lord this our sacrifice of thanks and praise and as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty renew us by your spirit inspire us with your love and unite us in the body of your son jesus christ our lord through him and with him and in him in the unity of the holy spirit with all who stand before you in the earth and heaven. We worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. The Lord's Prayer Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and glory and are yours now and forever Amen. If you are many, break the bread and share with each other. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Son of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Son of God, you take away the sin of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sin of the world grant us peace amen giving of communion most merciful lord your love compels us to come in our hands were unclear, our hearts were unprepared. We were not fit even to eat this crumb, the crumbs from under your table. But you, Lord, are the God of our salvation and share your bread with sinners. So cleanse and feed us with the precious body and blood of your Son that he may live in us and we in him and that we with the whole company of Christ may sit and eat in your kingdom. Amen. God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. You can eat the bread and drink the wine or water. If it is water you are drinking, you can uh, ask Jesus to turn as wine in your body. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God. 
and of his son Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always Amen it is the end of the service go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Jesus Amen Please help me God my God my God why have you left me alone why is my help far away I, I am crying out in great pain my God I call out to you for help every day all day and all night but you do not answer me so I cannot sleep I know that you are the holy God you sit on your throne as king and Israel's people praise you our ancestors trusted in you when they trusted you you saved them they called to you and you saved them they trusted in you and you did not disappoint them people insult me they think that I am worth nothing it seems that I am only a worm and not a real man at exit you should tell I give over my past to the mercy of God my presence for the love of God and my future of God's protection Amen